Ever heard of Icarus? No, why? Did he work for me? I meant on your wanderings through antiquity. A mythical figure, the first bird man, flew too near the sun, melted the wax on his wings, fell from the sky and was drowned in the Aegean. I may come and see you at home. Feel free. Of course, I'm only there evenings and weekends, uh, not always then. Thanks for the drink. Ring in your place, see if he got back. Any joy? Nothing positive. The train was delayed. I don't think Tuckerman's telling all he knows. I think it's time we spoke to the sister. Yeah. Well, that's the snag, you see. What? Well, I'm afraid we've lost her. I was taken by surprise. She gave me the slip while we were shopping. You've checked the obvious places. Dino's restaurant we've checked. Where else? Why did she bring the baby anyway? There must have been a woman about in a Greek house. They just keep on saying they don't know. Is she still feeding it? Him. Huh? Not it. Him. No. They can be weaned easily by six months. So why did she bring... Κάτι κρύβεται, κύριε Πέτρο. Πρέπει να μας πείτε την αλήθεια. Δεν ξέρουμε τίποτα. Μιλάτε με τον Τίνο. Μόνο αυτός ξέρει. She knows something. But he says we mustn't ask them anymore. Only their son knows. Dino, we must speak to him. Yeah. Dino, talk to him, yes? Does Dino know she's gone missing? Dino, ξέρει ότι χάθηκε η Μαρία. Δεν θέλω να στενοχωρηθεί το παιδί. Πριν λίγες έφυγε αυτή. Σε λίγο θα επιστρέψει. They didn't want to frighten him too soon. I mean, after all, she's only been gone a few hours. She could be back at any moment. Let's go. I'd sooner listen to Dino's Ken Bazooki than this. Yes, yes. I don't know how parents can bear that noise. They can't. That's what it's for. It forces you to do something. Table? What I want, Mr. Pappas, is a serious talk. Where can we go? I cannot leave right now. As you can see, we're very busy. Yes, and so am I. Get someone to cover. Look, I have told you all I know. Maria Caparis has gone missing. She ran away. Who has she gone to see and why? Who is it you're hiding? Did I sell you a Then you have seen the Maria. Θες να πάθει και αυτή κακό. Μαρία has no husband. So, when she becomes pregnant, well, you can imagine. She comes from an old-fashioned Greek family. And naturally, they want to know who the father is. Well, she says it's somebody that lives in England, who is only in Greece for the, the business with the boats. The baby's age, of course. Is it someone who lives in Oxford or outside? I don't know. 
Nikos knew. He spent most of the time he was working here out looking for him. And what did they hope to get from him? Maria wanted to see him. To show him the baby. She had some idea that the man would want to marry her. All right. Nikos found out that, of course, the man's already married. So then he thinks perhaps the man would pay to keep the secret from his wife. But what was he like? Rich or poor? Old or young? Middle-aged? Not even Greek or English? Bosses for his another sport, then he's still over there. That's it, Emily. Look, he's already told us he knows nothing. You told us you knew nothing before. This is a murder inquiry. That's a criminal offence. Is that clear? Did either of them mention Digby Tuckerman? Yes. They worked for him when they first came to England. But the restaurant went bust. They couldn't get another job and they couldn't stay in England without one. So they had to go back home. And they never saw him again since then? Yes, um, Nichols used to see him, I think. You think? You don't know? What did he see him about? Did he know anything about Tuckerman's business affairs in Devon? Enough to be a danger to him? I can't make guesses. I can only tell you what I know. You should have told us all this as soon as Nikos was killed. It was a private matter. Murder usually is. Thank you for helping. Thank you for letting me. Of course, I've got a bit to learn about tailing people. Don't blame yourself for that. If anyone's to blame, it's me. She'll turn up sometime. I hope so. Good night. Good night, and thank you. Very appealing girl. I'm not the sort that fancies, teacher. I didn't say I fancied her. No. So where to now? Home. Come and have a drink. Uh, well, if it's all the same to you, sir. All right. I'll just drop it off then. I found that tape. What tape? sail through the Aegean, owned and paid for by the Hellenic Navy, but powered by British oarsmen. A magnificent sight. Marvellous sight, sir. But also a triumph. Well, what's it got to do with our murder? Detection from a I have no idea. And after the hot and back-breaking hours aboard, a much-needed chance to relax. At a local taverna. Hold oh, wasn't it our victim? Can we look at that again? So it is. So that must be his restaurant. Who's here? And a missing person. It's been a wonderful two weeks for everyone. The oarsmen, or should I say, oars persons, as a good number of them are women, the recorders, the
the Greek naval officers, and most of all, for us, the trireme scholars, who have finally been proved right. And it's good to know that the first reconstruction will be staying here, where it belongs. Because this has been a collaboration between Brits and Greeks. That's really what's made the whole thing worthwhile. The way the local people treated us. We've been made to feel as though Greece is our second home. What do you make of him, man? Seems all right. Why? Greek and ships, yes, but music by Elgar. I think I'll go and see Jerome Hogg again. Let me know in a moment this word of the girl. What mother's going to leave a baby? Go off for a whole night in a town she doesn't know. So what am I being accused of? The love that dare not speak its name? We have to find out what went on at the symposium. Oh, they there dare to. Passing through Piraeus on one of those cultural cruises I do most summers. You know, Hellenic tours. I lecture on the glory that was Greece. But you knew Nikos, did you? In the biblical sense, no. I, I sometimes ate and drank at his taverna. More than that. You're usually a very keen observer of who's doing what with whom. Not when it's been taken down and used in evidence against them. I'm not a spy. <laughs> Strange having a policeman for a friend. You, you, you've suddenly got your other hat on, your helmet. It's not you at all. I don't care what went on amongst the British crew, but between the Brits and the Greeks. Good deal of bad feeling, I gather. You know, the Greeks felt it was their boat, but the British insisted on treating it as theirs. Jerome, you know what I mean. Hanky panky. Hello, sailor. Hmm. There's a lot less of that than in the good old days. I felt I'm lucky. So did my wild days before the scourge came. Now I'm an old man. The hunger's abated somewhat. But how about the young men? About 200 of them. <laughs> Even my taste for gossip would find that prospect daunting. I was thinking of Digby Tuckerman, Randall Rees, even Basilios Vasilikis. They were all there. You must speak to them. Well, thank you. What for? The coffee. No, I, I was worried for a moment. In case I'd given you something else.
well as a stolen baby, it'll be on the national news. As you see, we need results. I'm as concerned about this as you are, sir. Well, let's look at the facts, shall we? Well, forensic found almost nothing on the dead man, sir. Did you do a blood test on the baby? Well, that can't tell you who the father is, only who it's certainly not. Well, can we rule out an um, ethnic squabble of some kind? Unless it's Mr. Vasilikis. Uh, I've got him on film, sir. Talking to Maria at her taverna. Tuckerman is desperate. His fellow conspirators have to be persuaded to put money in his theme park. The last thing he wants is someone showing his dirty linen. So if Nikos had threatened to tell all he knew... In which case, why has the kid been stolen? Who steals babies? Demented, pitiful women? Some poor creature read about Maria's disappearance and thought, there's a motherless child, I'll look after it. You don't... You don't suppose it could be the mother herself, do you? Maria? With the father at last? Playing happy families while the rest of us are thinking the worst? Well, who else? Professor Randall Reese. He's married to Friday, the famous television wife. <laughs> Dream husband's secret love nest. <laughs> That'll be a national scandal, wouldn't it? My wife, for one, would have to go into intensive care. <laughs> no, no, hang about. That won't wash. Don't you remember a few years ago they faced a shock nation with the news that we were both a bit under par in the baby-making department? Ah, oh, that's right, sir. I knew there was something niggling me. My wife saw that programme. I remember her saying it must have been a terrific help to other people in the same situation. In what way, exactly? Sounds nauseating. What is this modern compulsion to entertain unknown millions with your closest secrets? You come from a pre-telly generation. Yeah, I don't know, sir. I think people like the Reese's can help other childless couples come to terms with the problem. All right. He was next on my visiting list, anyway. And so shall all my other things. To your question is, yes, traces of hashish were found in the remains of the Punic ship, so... The crews might well have been stoned at their oars, yeah. Would it be a good idea at any future trials to lay on grass for all? That way they might get the speed up to 12 knots, as you say the Athenians did. I'm not sure it would improve their performance. Daisy? Of course, at the end of the day, what were you working to recreate? It's a beautiful battering ram. It's a cruise missile. Its sole purpose is to sink the enemy's fleet, break bones, and drown people. I mean, do you think in 2,000 years from now, some scholars will reconstruct our ICBMs and Polarises? OK. We all know how you feel about war, Daisy. But if history teaches anything, it's that life's not that simple. <laughs> It was because of these ships that the Persian fleet was sunk and the barbarians kept at bay. Greek civilization was preserved as a model for the future of Europe and the world. Without the triremes, we may not have inherited the democratic ideals we still look to as our only hope against... Well, against tyranny. I hoped I'd made that clear. Thank you. I'm sure we'd all like to thank Professor Rees for his stimulating talk. I knew next to nothing about Greek oared ships before I came here today. Now I feel equipped to become one of the great bores of the day on the subject. Thank you, sir.
I'm sorry, I wanted very much to hear your talk. I uh, couldn't get away. Pity. You could have become a great bore on the subject. It wasn't the best vote of thanks in the Union's history. She'll be kicking herself all night. I doubt it. She probably meant it. I'm having to face a very disagreeable truth. In the world's eyes, I've suddenly become a bore. Till a few years ago, I was the apple of everyone's eye.